So that has pretty much been part of our diet for a very long time. Hi everyone, welcome back to Viking and Islander. It is now 7.30 a.m. in Dubai and we are just back from a fitness session, as you might be able to see. Um, one of the questions we get quite a lot is, um, you know you started working out recently um, and also that you eat six times a day. What is that all about? And in today's video, I'm just going to cover the breakfast part because I'm about to make breakfast for it. And one key element to our diet is the egg. We eat a lot of eggs every morning and also in the afternoon when we are on our strict diet. Yes, it's every day and yes, we grow tired of it eventually. Eggs are super good source of protein, also vitamin D and vitamin B12. We've been told our personal trainer that this is a good way to go in the morning, along with oats for instance. So that has pretty much been part of our diet for a very long time. It takes a little bit getting used to. You find lots of different creative ways of making uh, scrambled eggs, uh, boiled eggs, omelettes, etc. But the general rule is the same. Avoid any salt and sugar, and there you go. I eat about seven eggs a day. Don't worry, I don't eat the yolk from it. I actually separate it. So, I separate the egg white from the yolk. Almost just protein, no. It's a good source of vitamin D and B12 and it's quite easy to deal with. It's not that expensive item, so we buy, I don't know, maybe 100 eggs a week. And as you can see, I am separating the yolk, otherwise I think I, I will have a heart attack if I eat seven full eggs. So I eat about five egg whites, and then two full eggs, and then I just scramble them. One of the things you might ask as well, so how, how can you eat this every day? And doesn't it taste awful? Don't you get tired of it? And yes, we do get tired of it. Um, if it tastes awful, mm, no, not necessarily. But one of the things we've also had to deal with and consider a lot is how much salt we eat. So we try to avoid salt and sugar altogether, even though you might see salt and pepper here in the background. But that's one of the things we try to avoid altogether. We do sometimes add different stuff to, to scrambled eggs because it's really quite boring, especially if you're, if you're eating it every day. Sometimes we add spinach, mushrooms, uh, cherry tomatoes, different kinds of spices, again, avoiding salt. Um, we've also been led to believe that flax seeds are good for you. Not entirely sure if it is, but we so far so good. Same thing with the chia seeds. It doesn't really make it taste any better, but at least it's supposedly better for you. You might ask, um, is it only seven eggs a day? No, it's not. When we're really following in our strict diets, it's actually twice that. So we eat eggs in the morning and in the afternoon around 2.30. Obviously, Rose and I are very different in how we look in our, our bodies. So she does not need to eat as much as I do. So for her, it's about three eggs in the morning, only one of them with yolk, and the same thing in the afternoon. Let us know in the comment section if you'd like to know more about this diet that we've been following, our experiences with it, what we've learned about ourselves, how we've tried to change it a little bit to our needs, and also, of course, the result of it. And we'll make a video for that. Also, ask any questions in the comment, um, particularly regarding scrambled eggs. Um, it's no secret, I've been eating scrambled eggs every day for eight months now. I'm not super tired of it yet, but uh, on cheat days, usually Friday, I really enjoy being able to eat bread or bacon or anything else but eggs in the morning. But, uh, but no, I'm not that tired of it yet and I will continue going forward. So now it's almost done and as you can see, it doesn't look super tasty, it doesn't, it's almost white because it's almost just egg whites, but it's fast and easy, about five minutes and you're good to go. And here's the final result. I've added G 
chia seeds and flax seeds. I cannot recommend that if you want it to taste better. It does not. If you want to add taste, I suggest you add oregano, thyme, pepper. Again, avoid the salt. Or any kind of vegetables that you like. You can either cook it with scrambled eggs next to it or add it raw like tomatoes. And of course, coffee. No day without coffee. And that's it. Thank you for watching today and do hit the subscribe button. Let us know in the comment section below if you'd like to know more about the diet we've been following, the experiences we've had, how much does it cost, etc. And also of course the outcome. And we'll make another video for that. Until then, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again next time.